welcome back everyone today i'm going back to amanda the adventurer but this time i'm looking for secrets i'm not going to show off my thinking process too much i'm just going to kind of start poking around seeing what i can find in this room there were some things that i noticed throughout the game that i didn't address uh a couple of things that come to mind is these flowers here with these like uh these rune witchcraft looking symbols I don't know what you actually call these but the only one we needed was potato and i feel like this is a lot of plants for me just to grow a potato like this seems kind of like an an exhaustive list i think there's more to this and then i remember at some point in the first video that i actually edited this part out i think where i saw a part where amanda was in the store during like the corrupted tape and there were music notes at the top and i was trying to remember how to read music i haven't read music since i was in the eighth grade so beyond what i'm telling you right now i'm not gonna dive too hard into my thought process on the things you're probably just gonna see what we find after i try it because i'm probably gonna be here a while so let's get into it and i'll see you as we go there's a fruit here that's not with the other ones on the the bin here let me grab this because wooly likes peach pie right that isn't that what he says in the tape Today, we're going to make an apple pie. Mm -hmm. My favorite is peach pie. It is peach pie. What's your favorite kind of pie? I want to try baking a peach pie for Wooly. And I did find a peach. Interestingly enough, I found this peach right here. I found it back over there. And I don't know if this will actually do anything, but let's give it a try. Whoa, what is that? That's an orange tape. It's blank i haven't seen an orange tape all of them have been they've been black v like black basic vhs tapes an orange tape huh i'm a little worried but let's let's watch it where's the birthday girl usually my mom pulls my treat money what well I'm come on lauren we have a special surprise for you okay. here's what i have you're watching amanda the adventure Who's ready for ice cream and cake? She's busy with her best friend. Is that show on 24-7? It's like she didn't even hear me. Maybe we need to talk about some new TV rules. <laughs> you know what? Hold on. Let me try. I, I want to I capture the big surprise on video. <laughs> Lauren, honey, we got cake and ice cream. We got your favorite mint chocolate chip. Come on, baby. We can watch Amanda another time. She's come. It's so much fun hey, to buy your own Everything okay? Lauren? Mm, Lauren? I love mint chocolate chip. Okay. Uh, put you right there. That was weird. So I know that. So this must have been something that Kate was collecting because Kate was talking about like trying to figure out what this was. That's like the first like uh, real life home video we've seen. I need to stop and think. I almost need to make a flow chart of how to get from like tape to tape in this game okay here we go so there's the music notes up here this is i remember thinking about this i cut it out of the previous video but i didn't know if it was something that i could play so i'm trying to remember how to i haven't read music in years i actually got i actually got kicked out of band in eighth grade because i was so bad at, at playing an instrument but i think like the spaces it goes up it's like face it's like f-a-c-e right and then i think like the lines it's like there was like a sentence to help you remember it it was like every good boy does fine or something like that so it would be like E, G, B, D, F. So let me write this down. Okay, let's pause it here. Can I just go play this like immediately? Oh, another color tape. This just goes to show you, I, sh I should have trusted my gut when I played through this the first time. I should have trusted my gut and said, I feel like this means something and I should have explored it a little bit more because look at what's happening. Is this gonna be like another home style movie? What is this? Looks kind of like an interrogation room. Who are these folks? Who's the little girl? I wonder if this is uh, that guy's daughter who made the TV show. That seem that just seems like the obvious answer, right? Okay, not an interrogation room. It's more like this is a doctor of some sort. They've got a lab coat on. What are they talking about?
There must be something interesting about her if... If they've got her in some kind of facility like this, there must be something interesting about her. Whether it's special or she's been picked for something, I don't know, but... Did they just have her sign a document or something? Wait, on the on the folder. That was the logo that appears at the end of the uh, of the tapes. Uh Hamill Entertainment, was that what it was? That was weird. Who the heck is this? Is this like a security guard? in there can't really couldn't see anything that was it oh i wonder how many more tapes like this there are wait a minute was this always here i was going through i was going through this book so that i could progress past the tape that i just did this symbol up here, this is on one of, this is on the chart with the, uh, with the runes, the symbols. Like, was that, and it's here with this doll with the scissors. I don't remember this being here. I feel like maybe I wouldn't have noticed it. Maybe I focused so hard on guts and this that I just missed it. Is it this yellow one? It looks like the yellow one, but upside down, right? Okay. So now the doll, wait, the tapes that I found went on this shelf. Does that mean there are six tapes? Because there are six open slots on the shelf. Okay, that's... Considering I struggled to come up with ways to find the first two, that's going to be interesting. But this doll here, that symbol is in the book. So... I need the yellow one. I don't know, should I try something with... Let me get the... Let me get that plot. That plot? That pot. I just realized she has a flower in her hair. Oh, wait, wasn't there another flower over here somewhere? Yeah, I remember this one. Because I spent like a whole hour when I played through the first time trying to grow all these plants. Trying to figure out what might be the issue. Wait, I can click on her now. Did I not grow the other flower enough? Or maybe it just wasn't the right flower in general. Thank you. That's my favorite flower. Oh. I got a surprise for you, but you'll have to turn around. I'm not doing anything. What are you? Oh my God. The doll's talking to me. It's telling me to turn around. Okay. Oh, we just got some kind of achievement. Please don't scare me. Please don't scare me. Please just go. Okay. That's another tape. I, I, I need to, op I need to open my eyes more. I don't know if that symbol was there the first time. I'll have to go back and watch my first video, but I didn't remember it until maybe I was just so engrossed in the game that I wasn't looking for secrets. What's this tape going to be? It's been three weeks since local television producer Sam Colton Sam. was reported missing and authorities still have no leads. Colton is the creator of Amanda the Adventurer, the public access children's educational program that became a huge hit among area children. Mm -hmm. But with Colton's disappearance, the future of the show remains unclear. Last year, Hamlin Entertainment purchased rights to the live action program starring Colton's daughter, Rebecca. That was as budget her. and production value increased, Hamlin reimagined the show as an animated series, planning to syndicate the program nationally. Interesting. Hamlin's acquisition of the program and Colton's recent disappearance have raised some eyebrows. It is. And to suspicious. further fuel these concerns, new episodes of Amanda the Adventurer have had subject matter that has left local parents uncomfortable about the program. Like everything rotting. My kids are still really into that show, but it has changed. I mean, I walked in the other day and Amanda was talking about how mommies and daddies aren't always right. <laughs> what? I mean, what is that? That's not something you tell impressionable kids. I had to change the channel. I just told the kids that the TV was acting up. Weird. It's not yet clear how Colton's disappearance will affect the involvement of his daughter, Rebecca, the show's young star. We reached out to Hamlin Entertainment for an interview. While representatives declined to comment, they did release a written statement. We at Hamlin have concerns surrounding the nature of Sam Colton's abandonment of both our program and his daughter. Abandonment? We cannot speculate on his reasons for leaving, 
We do ask that the community respect the privacy of Rebecca Colton as she needs time out of the spotlight to process these disturbing events. For the time being, Rebecca's local appearances have been canceled, including the Kensdale Public Library fundraiser, Woolies Readathon, this Saturday evening. Can't Rest assured that Amanda library. is not going anywhere. Hamlin Entertainment remains committed to our vision for this cherished program. Despite this statement, authorities have not drawn any conclusions about the nature of Sam Colton's disappearance. We will share any future updates as the story develops. When we return, we'll check in with Zappo, the talking Zappo. gerbil. So where did Sam go? They did something to him, right? He didn't it's just me, leave. your friend, Skip. Wait. And with me, as always, is my trusty dog, Chip. I played this game. Chip? I played that game. The Blue's Clues Horror Game. I played that game. That's a tie-in I didn't expect. Can I just, like, throw this on the shelf? I don't know if that's... Okay, I'll just put it on the table. So, three more tapes. I really struggled to find that one. So, we know a couple of things so far. We know that Sam had the idea for the show starring his daughter, Rebecca. We know that Sam went missing. And we know that Rebecca signed some kind of documents and was being, like, carted around some facility-looking place. So, Hamlin Entertainment's up to something. They're, they're, they're weird. I'm going to try Sam here. I posted... I posted clips of this game on TikTok and someone told me to type Sam here. Wait. Whoa. What did you say? How do you... Where should we go next? That did do something. I think it's time to visit the sheep. Hold on. Is there... Is there a tape around? There is. Green one this time. Shout out to... This, shout out to TikTok commenters for helping me with that one. Actually, a lot of people on like TikTok and the YouTube comments were... I missed gave me like lots of things to try and i kind of oh, i have to finish this tape before i can put this one in coffee break with sadie capper capping welcome to coffee break thank you today i'm talking with sam colton the creator sam. of the hit kids show amanda the adventurer and I have to say, a fantastic studio neighbor. Thanks for having me on the show, Sadie. You're a pretty good studio neighbor yourself. Though, I'm going to gain 50 pounds if you keep stocking the kitchen with those delicious homemade cookies. You can't have a coffee break without cookies. <laughs> Sam, last year you started producing Amanda the Adventurer right here in the studio. The mm -hmm. whole town loves it. Did you even imagine that would be such a big sensation? Honestly, Sadie? No, it was a total surprise. I mean, it's scrappy at best. You know how it is when you have a big idea and a little budget. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I know what you're talking about. Mm. <laughs> Kids don't really care about that, though. Mm -hmm. They see the heart. And boy, does your show have a big heart. You know, I really have to thank our local librarian, Miss Kate, for being such a champion of the project. Kate? I think she's talked about it at every single story time. I think it's just so rare nowadays for kids' shows to be so much fun, but also really teach kids something, isn't it? Mm. What inspired you to create Amanda? I wanted to create a show that teaches children that our world is a magical place, that there are little adventures waiting around every corner in their very own neighborhood. The show is a celebration of kids' imaginations, but really, it's all Rebecca. As soon as I met my beautiful daughter, the inspiration was there. You know, she was so young when I adopted her. Adopted? And despite what she's gone through, she's always seen the world with such kindness and joy. That adoptive thing is... She's the light of my life. Interesting. And it makes me so happy to share that light with our community. She really is something special. Watching her perform is simply delightful. I mean, the whole show is just so cute. Thank you, Sadie. Do you see big things happening with Amanda the Adventurer? I've actually had some people approach me about it. They want to turn Amanda into a cartoon. Hmm. I can't really talk about it yet, but it's exciting. It feels like a dream, the idea of welcoming even more kids into this wild, creative world. It feels like my little show could really have a big impact. That's incredible. I don't know about that. That's... Sam, thanks so much for having a coffee break with me today. Our community is so lucky to have you. And Rebecca. 
on our next coffee break, floral arrangements for all occasions, featuring the newest addition to our neighborhood, Rose Matthews of Rose's Bouquet. Until then, may your coffee always be steaming and the conversation sparkling. Interesting. Hamlin wanted to turn it into a cartoon. I feel like they, I don't know. I feel like something, there's something afoot here. Something, something's afoot here and it's definitely, well, I mean, obviously it's not natural because we literally have Amanda coming out of here as like a some type of like creature entity or something. That's right. Willie hurt his knee. Who can help when you are hurting? Okay, someone also in the comments told me to type nobody here. You're probably right. Oh. Let's take Wooly to the hospital. You're gonna be, yep, there's another tape. I was able to find a few of these on my own, but eventually I started remembering some of the comments I read when I posted the first video. And then I started looking back and I was like, fortunately people already kind of gave me some answers. This. What is what does that say? I can not have to pause it. Let's move on to the next one. Bye yell. Bye Bye yell. Bye man. 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 What is this? What is she reading? Just a few simple words. Uh, this script is specifically tuned to train the technology's dynamic voice reaction. The what? I want this to stop. <sighs> Sam, why don't you take a walk for a few minutes? We've only got a few more of the... No, the I don't want to do that. Rebecca, what's wrong? Who are you talking to? The man in the headphones. There's no man... Man in the She's headphones. Upset. This is going too far. Let's just take five. Rebecca, come on out and we'll... What was she saying? They were like, it's just some words. It was like, ah, oh, lamb. Does that have something to do with Wooly? I thought you were different. Uh, I'm just looking around trying to see if like, I know that like everything gets removed in this section. There's a six tape somewhere. I just, there must be a six tape somewhere. I'm, I'm looking through like YouTube comments and TikTok comments to see if someone told me to do anything else. I don't know how to get this. Like, I'm assuming there's a six tape. There's six slots and the tapes go in them. Like it makes sense. There's gotta be six, right? Is it really okay to share? I'm out there somewhere. <laughs> Oh, what the hell? What the hell was that? I was just sitting here just record like I was just going through things and I was looking for just like things I could like do and change around because I figured there was like a six tape. That was something different. The last time I did that ending that that guy was not there. Oh wait, I got a new uh a new sticker. There's like a hat there. I remember when when like Rebecca was like reading those words and Sam was like, what are you doing? And she's talking to someone. I wonder if that's who it was. She started to see something that Okay, so I got tired of trying to figure out a way to get a six tape and I looked around online and I couldn't find anything. I couldn't find any I found a six tape online, but everyone it seems to be just something from the game files. It doesn't seem to be something that's actually in the game, or at least no one talks about a way to get it. I see, I, I watched some other YouTube videos and I saw a lot of people playing the tape, but they're definitely, it almost seems like they're watching a video and pretending they're, it's in their game and they're kind of like reacting to it. Like, I just, I don't think, it's literally just Wooly sitting at a table, but 
I've yet to see anyone explain how you get that tape. People just magically have it and then they're watching it and they're like, oh yeah, they don't. I think a lot of people are faking that part, unfortunately. And and if they're not, if there is a way to get that tape, then please tell me. But as far as I can tell, the it's it's in the game files and it was just never put in. I also did some some looking around and the words that Rebecca was saying when she was it was like Paimon, Ba Lamb, and uh Bayel, like they're they're words that sound like popular demon names. Which I'll drop down here and you can you can see what I'm talking about. So they must have been having her do some kind of like at this point, like it's definitely supernatural. There's like demonic entities. I think I saw like someone reference like Amanda's like uh like the guy in the headphones, some kind of like Eldritch horror or something like that. I almost would have to do a ton of research and make another video just to like try to figure out the lore. I don't I don't know that there's much more. I'm just but who is Wooly? Wooly seems to be as like aware and alive as Amanda is, but no one talks about it. Maybe it's maybe it's Sam. Sam went missing. Maybe they did something. Maybe they turned her into some type of entity that's in these tapes. And it's all interconnected. Because like when you start to look at like the things that the meat shop is something like that, like Amanda is like she's trying to stay in control. She doesn't want to hurt Wooly and all that. I don't know if that's I still have so many questions. But well, we learned a lot and it's a lot of lore. I don't think I'm going to come back to this game unless I will probably do some research and corroborate with some other people and see if I if I have something interesting that I came up with, I'll make another video about this game. But unless I have something significant, this will probably be it. So I, I look forward to this game for a long time. I had a lot of fun with it. It really came a long way since the first demo that I played. So thank you for being here. I'll see you in the next one.